In today's video, I'm going to show you a few different ways you can work with Excel inside of OneNote. You might be wondering why we would want to integrate Excel into OneNote. I have two primary reasons for this. First, it's so that I can maintain an explanation for the data set. Excel is great for numbers and short text, but it's not a place to keep long explanations like insights about the data. Embedding Excel in OneNote means I can provide explanation and context for the data. And if the Excel file needs further work, I can keep notes in OneNote about the next steps in the work process. The second benefit of embedding Excel in OneNote is the ability to search through its contents. Excel files with small data sets and simple structures, such as this customer order list, are ideal for keeping in OneNote because we can easily search for and locate specific data. Okay, let me show you how to add an existing spreadsheet to our notes. Let's click on Add Page. Make sure you're in the Insert tab. Click on Spreadsheet and choose Existing Excel Spreadsheet. We'll navigate to the file. We'll choose the Sales Order file. Hit Insert. And we'll choose the first option, which is to attach file. Now, we can double click to open the Excel file. The first time you'll get this warning message, just click on don't show this again and hit OK. What's important to note here is that you are working on a copy of the original file. So if you were to go to the file and hit info, you'll see that this file is actually living in your local temp folder. So any changes that you make here will not impact the original file. The second option is to insert an image of your spreadsheet that is linked to the copied file. So for example, I'll create a new page, go to spreadsheet, I'll navigate to the file again, hit insert, and then this time instead of clicking on attach file, we'll click on insert spreadsheet. And you'll see that in addition to the attach file icon, you have the images. So this is from the worksheet one. This is from the second worksheet that shows the graph. So I'm going to double click on it, enlarge this. You'll see that I actually have two worksheets here, uh, data worksheet and chart worksheet. And you see that both of them have been added onto the note page. So if I make a change here, so we'll change the quantity of the first item to three and hit save and close Excel you'll see that information has been updated in the embedded image. And I can do the same thing. I can click on the edit icon. It does the same thing. It'll open up Excel. And let's change it to seven. Hit save. Close it. And again, that number updates in the embedded image. Now, if you have an Excel file with multiple worksheets, as we do here, we do have the option to choose which worksheet to embed. So let's add a page, go back to spreadsheet, existing spreadsheet. We'll choose the same file, hit insert. This time we're going to choose the last option, which is to insert a chart or a table. If we click on this option, depending on the number of worksheets you have in your Excel file, uh, you'll get different options here. You saw earlier that we had one worksheet for data and one worksheet for the chart. Let's say that we just want to embed the chart and not the data table. So I'm going to click on chart, hit OK. And that just brings in the chart. If you wanted to create a brand new Excel spreadsheet right inside OneNote, you can do that as well. So we'll click on add page, go to spreadsheet and hit new Excel spreadsheet and that'll embed an image of a blank worksheet here. You can either double click on the icon or this edit button, and you can type in your data, hit save, and that'll update your embedded image. Another way to create a brand new Excel spreadsheet is from your existing OneNote table. So here, for example, I have a table that I created within OneNote. If I right click on it, I can actually convert this to an Excel spreadsheet. So let's go ahead and do that. And there we go. It's converted the table that we had into an Excel spreadsheet that we can click on and we can make edits. Save. 
So if you started a table in OneNote, but you want to perform some calculations and want to convert it into Excel, this is a quick and easy way. And that's all there is to it. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and consider subscribing to my channel for more tips and tricks like this. Thanks. Bye.